We've all got them, the Disney haters in our lives, but we love them anyway and we're going to bring them with us to Disney World. So today we've got a bunch of great activities that even your Disney hater is going to love. So let's get started. It's AJ for Disney Food Blog. We are going to jump right in and maybe you won't be able to convert your Disney hater into a Disney lover, but at least they will have some fun and an enjoyable time on their vacation in Disney World if you share with them these special activities and events that they might enjoy. Some of these are pretty well known and some of them are hidden secrets. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about the Wanyama Safari. So this is an exclusive offering over at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which includes a private safari tour. It's 90 minutes long for up to 12 guests, and it goes around the 46 acres of the Disney Savannah. You can spot giraffes, okapis, zebras, red river hogs, antelopes, ostriches, wildebeest, lots of animals. It's a pretty high-end tour that won't even make you think you're in Disney World. Now, after your safari, you'll head to Jico, which is the signature restaurant in Animal Kingdom Lodge, super delicious, for a multi-course meal with an African-inspired menu and South African wine pairings. This pairs a really interesting tour with some excellent fine dining and is perfect for the foodie and or the Disney hater in your group. Speaking of tours, there are several other tours in Disney World that the person in your group who doesn't necessarily want to be riding rides or visiting attractions might enjoy. Tours like Backstage Magic will bring them backstage in Disney World and share some of the inner workings of the parks. The Wild Africa Trek at Animal Kingdom is totally different. You'll get up close with animals and have a lovely light meal out at the Boma on Animal Kingdom Savannah. And then of course the behind the seats tour over at Epcot is another non-Disney fight and a little bit less expensive tour where you get to see Disney's greenhouses and living with the land and where they grow food for several restaurants on property, including Garden Grill. This is a really cool look at some hydroponic growing systems. It takes a look at how to create food for such a large variety of people. So those are just three options, but there are tons of tours and backstage tours. There's even swimming with dolphins. There's scuba tours at Disney World, so be sure to check out. If you have our book, The DFB Guide, there's a whole chapter where we describe all the tours and give you all the info on those, or you can go to Disney World's website and check them out there. Next up, golfing. We definitely want to talk about golfing. This is where a lot of our Disney haters end up going. Disney has three golf courses, which are 18-hole championship layouts. Magnolia and Palm courses are both located by the Polynesian Village Resort, and the Lake Buena Vista course is located at Saratoga Springs. So pro shops are both at Magnolia and Lake Buena Vista, where you can purchase shirts, towels, caps, as well as rent clubs and golf shoes. For those just learning or looking for a shorter game, they also have a nine-hole walking course. That's Disney's Oak Trail Golf Course also by the Polynesian. So Disney World offers special sunrise and sunset nine hole promotions, which include a breakfast sandwich and your choice of coffee, orange juice, or water during the sunrise tea time and a freshly prepared hot dog and your choice of a domestic beer or soft drink during the sunset tea time. Disney World offers one-on-one -on -one golf lessons with a PGA professional for those learning or looking to improve their game. And if you're looking for more interesting outdoor activities, Oak Trail offers a nine hole foot golf course, which is of course golf played with a soccer ball. Next up, the festivals. Now, Epcot has four festivals throughout the year, which offers lots of activities for the person in your life who maybe isn't so excited about Disney World. The Festival of the Arts, Flower and Garden Festival, the Food and Wine Festival, and the Festival of Holidays. So Epcot is already the least sort of Disney-fied park, if that's really a thing. So they may feel a little more comfortable there in the first place. And with these festivals, you can drink and snack around the world all year long, basically, except for in the summer, but your Disney hater doesn't want to be there in the summer anyway. So in addition to food booths, there's also other activities and there's some really awesome concerts that take place, especially during the Flower and Garden Festival and the Food and Wine Festival. There's also Broadway shows that take place during the Festival of the Arts. So there's lots of really awesome things to see and take in that aren't necessarily a ride on Winnie the Pooh. All right, let's talk about the kayak and canoe rentals. So if you're looking for some more outdoor activities, Disney World definitely has those for you. At Fort Wilderness, over at the Bike Barn, you can rent canoes and kayaks for $13 per hour between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. So you can paddle around those scenic streams and ponds surrounding Fort Wilderness, or you can rent larger boats and go out into Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake. Don't forget there's also horseback riding in Walt Disney World over there at Fort Wilderness, Segway tours, and several other special events and activities that maybe you don't know about, but they're certainly not gonna take you into a theme park. 
If you have a fishing expert on your hands, Disney World offers year-round bass fishing. So there are both two and four hour excursions with either a guided fishing tour for up to five guests on a 21 foot pontoon boat or a tournament style excursion for two people. All tours include a one year subscription to Bassmaster Magazine and these are available at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort, Caribbean Beach, Contemporary Grand Floridian, Old Key West, Polynesian, Port Orleans, Wilderness Lodge, and Yacht Club. So you want to call 407-939-BASS, B-A-S-S, to make your reservations. And you can also rent fishing gear from the fishing hole at Old Man Island at Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside for some dockside fishing. That's a fun thing to do with the kids. All right, let's talk about some of those non-Disney hotels. If the Disney hater in your life can't stand the thought of seeing in an art of animation suite that's themed to the Lion King, we totally get it. There are several super uber luxury hotels just outside the park but still on Disney property. So the Four Seasons is actually on Disney property and the Ritz-Carlton is very, very close just outside Disney World property and they provide frequent shuttle service to the parks. Four Seasons holds the AAA Five Diamond Award with incredible restaurants on site, amazing pool that rivals Storm Along Bay at Disney's Yacht and Beach Club plus an adults only pool area. You can dine at their rooftop restaurant Kappa which offers incredible fireworks views and Ravello offers a character breakfast with goofy so you want to avoid that with your Disney hater but maybe you and your kids who are staying there will enjoy it. And the Ritz has great outdoor activities like a two-hour kayak eco tour, mountain bike path and tours of its on-site farm including the hotel's garden, apiary and chicken coop. You can also find a Waldorf Astoria in the middle of Walt Disney World property as well. Now, if you have a billiards player on your hand, several Disney World resorts have complimentary pool tables. Equipment is free for DVC members and others can rent everything for a nominal fee. You'll find pool tables at Animal Kingdom Villas, over at Kadani Village in the Kadani Village Community Hall, Disney's Beach Club Resort at Stormalong Bay, that one's outdoors, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort at Barefoot Bay Bike Works, Disney's Old Key West Resort at Conk Flats Community Hall, and Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort at the Saratoga Springs Community Hall. Now, if you absolutely can't get your Disney hater into a theme park, head over to Disney Springs. Disney Springs is very inoffensive, unoffensive for, for people who really aren't big Disney fans. There's over a hundred shops which go way beyond just Disney merchandise. You'll find clothing, collectibles, bath and body products, kitchen goods, chocolate shops, jewelry, and more. And there's things for every budget, including very high-end shops as well. There are over 60 restaurants here to choose from, including every Everything from grab and go to fine dining, including celebrity chef restaurants from Art Smith, Guy Fieri, Masaharu Morimoto, Wolfgang Puck, Jose Andres, and more. You've got a movie theater, bowling alley, plenty of live music, plus the ESPN NBA experience coming soon to keep you entertained. So there's lots going on at Disney Springs, even if you're not a huge Disney fan. But if you can get your Disney hater into a theme park, make sure they ride Flight of Passage over at Animal Kingdom. Unless your Disney hater gets motion sickness, this ride might totally change their opinion of theme parks. Don't worry about making sure they see Avatar before they head to Pandora. This ride is so incredible and over the top that it may be enough to make them reluctantly admit that Disney World is pretty cool. So we know we all have them. We have the people in our lives who don't necessarily love Disney as much as we do, but that's okay. There's plenty for them to do at Disney World, and there's no reason to leave them home. Let us know your favorite things for your Disney hater to do, the things that you maybe even used to convert the person in your life who didn't love Disney World to being a little bit more amenable to going to the parks with you. We'd love to hear those things in the comments. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you liked it. Don't forget to click that little notification notification bell so that you know when we put up more Disney videos. This is AJ for Disney Food Vlog. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon.